Sean Sewell with InGearMate.com, and I got a really fun comparison for you with Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Three pairs of them, from semi-wrap to full wrap, gray-based, amber-based, and copper-based lenses, as well as fits and functions. I'm gonna go through the Costa Del Mar Lido, Santiago, and Diego. So let's get into it. First up, the Costa Del Mar Lido. Probably one of my favorite sunglasses for a few reasons. One, I like the gray base lens. This is a 580G polarized lens. These are gonna be all 580G polarized lenses, just different colors, okay? As you can see, it's a semi-wrap, whereas these are gonna be more full wrap, and I'll show you that in a second. I like that it has coverage on the side. A little bit of shields right here, which is really good. So that you do get the aesthetic of a flat sunglass, the benefit of a little bit of side protection. So it fits that sweet spot for me, especially when I'm doing things like uh, shooting these videos when the wind is kicking up, and I'm sorry if the wind's kicking up, but hopefully the microphone's cutting it out. Uh, helps keep the debris out, helps keep the, when I'm in the Alpine, like right now we're at a, right above tree line, you know, Jones Pass, so if I were in the Alpine on snow, it'd be nice to have additional protection right there. And let's go through these specs. This is gonna be 57, 16, 132. As you can see right here, it has this really nice adjustable nose pad. In fact, all three of these have this nose pads, which is why I'm doing this comparison review with them. There is the nose pad, and then on the arms, they are adjustable, and they have a little bit of tack right there, which does a really good job of sticking onto your face. So there is the Lido. I really, really enjoy it. You can see a semi-wrap coverage, and one last gander at it. Up next is a really funky one. I've had this one for a while. I really like it. It is the Santiago, but the frame, as you're noticing, is actually made from recycled fishnets. The Costa Del Mar times Burio. Burio is a great company that actually works with Costa as well as Patagonia for the Net Plus. Uh, they take fishnets out of the oceans and make it this plastic. So that is why it looks like this. You do get those wonderful grippy arms right there. You'll notice here you can attach their leash retention system, so your fishermen and women will appreciate that. You do get that same nose bridge that I showed you on the Lido and bigger coverage go through the size 63 nice and wide 16 by 130 now the lenses I'm kind of teasing you with here these are their low light specialty lenses watch as I put this on oh wow <laughs> it's a huge difference it just lit up everything. Right now it is uh, 9 a.m. and we're on top of a, a mountain here, Jones Pass. Lighting's good, but it just got a whole lot better. Now I would not want to use these any later in the day or any brighter sunlight than I have currently. It would just be too much and my eyes would just open up too much and let too much light in. But in flat light, cloudy days, uh, before sunrise, after sunset, really, really good shades. And my God, I'm looking at a monitor right now and I can see all the detail that I couldn't see with the gray base lenses on or the blue base or the green base, which I'll get to the gray versus green versus blue in a different video. So stay tuned for that. Holy moly, like if you are a fisherman or fishwoman or you need to see the most amount of detail in low light conditions, this is the lens for you. It's available in several different sunglasses, not just the, the uh, Santiago. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, it is a full wrap coverage, uh, good aesthetic. That wind didn't do anything to me. I probably heard on the microphone, but it didn't come in through the side, which is why you get a full wrap sunglass for protection and coverage. All right, the last one in the bunch, the Diego. He is similar in size. He's 62, 14, 113. And again, he has that uh, ability to do the leech retention system right there. And he has that awesome adjustable nose, which is why we're including him in the review. And the coverage is awesome. It's a full wrap coverage. And this is the rose base lens. Now this coverage is fantastic. It fits my medium sized head very, very well. As you can see, full wrap coverage. And it does a really good job of handling pretty much all light conditions from flat light, not as good as the the amber ones, but handling flat light up to bright light, enhancing colors, more detail. I see the shadows better. I see a lot of yellows. It's, it is fall up here and uh, you can probably see in the video, the yellow behind me. It's, it's nice. It's a very good offering. Again, 580G lenses. And for reference, I'm going to show you all three together. Here's the Lido semi-wrap coverage, Santiago full wrap coverage, and take these guys off and add them to the mix, the Diego full wrap. So as you can see, the curvature is what I'm talking about. Full wrap, full wrap, semi-wrap. Uh, the benefits of full wrap, of course, are more protection on the sides, um, but you still get pretty good sun shielding and uh, debris shielding on the Lido right there as well. And so there they go. There's 
the three sunglasses that I found that were very similar with the nose bridge, size, coverage, and shape, but I also wanted to share with you the difference in optics of how they looked. The rose-based, I'll see if I can get you to look through it. It's really hard to do this. And it's a rose-based. This one's gonna be crazy. The amber-based, that just got wild. And of course, the gray base, which changes the least amount of color. There's the gray based. Probably didn't do it justice, but if I can find a way to put a photo below so you can see the optics, I will do so. But yeah, there you go. That is the comparison and the differences between these three sunglasses. Up next, I will do between the gray based, blue based, and green based lenses to give you some idea. I love the gray based because again, it doesn't change the color, uh, but I really love the blue, it's my favorite. Green is really nice too. It has a more of a bronze kind of look to it, but the blue is my favorite optic looking as well as aesthetic looking for what's worth. Of course, these are all available in the polycarbonate version. I would recommend the polycarbonate in a heartbeat, especially if you wanna save money have lighter weight, and you're doing a more high impact activity, the 580G glass will cost more, will be heavier, and I have never seen it shatter or scratch, but it is glass, potential break could be there. I've only heard of one person breaking a pair of sunglasses that were glass and wasn't Costa, um, and it didn't go well. Um, so that concerns me, and so I always opt for polycarbonate when doing activities, but when static or hiking or other activities like this, 580G glass, real, real nice. Worth the extra investment, in my opinion. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engearment.com. If you want to see more content on Costa, subscribe to our Engearment YouTube channel. We have a meeting with them next week, actually, to go through next year's gear. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot more coverage coming up. I've already had, saw some press releases on some new shades we'll be testing out too, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you have any questions on any of these sunglasses or want to see comparisons between other models that we may have in our uh, current possession or future, let me know. I'll get those going for you. And until next time, take care.